Hey there, everybody. Uh, so, Sniffleball here again. Uh, this is not going to be a tutorial uh, this time around. This is going to be more of an observation um, about page builders, uh, which seem to be a very popular uh, item these days in WordPress land. And uh, the reason I chose to uh, make this video is that uh, Elegant Themes have recently released their Dibby Builder uh, page builder as a standalone plugin. In other words, it will work uh, with uh, what they say uh, any theme, uh, not just their Dibby theme, uh, which was previously the case. So that got me to thinking, and that's a dangerous thing I know. But anyways, I thought I'd do a little bit of a comparison here between uh, three page builders, uh, probably three of the more popular ones, and which is uh, the Dibby Builder, uh, Visual Composer uh, by WP Bakery, available on the Invanto Marketplace at Code Canyon. And of course, my favorite, uh, Beaver Builder. And I think at the end of this video, uh, you may decide that Beaver Builder will be your favorite as well. And I'm not going to make any editorializations here or whatever. I'm just going to show you the results. So with that in mind, here we have on this screen a plain old fresh install of WordPress on my favorite local server, uh, the Uniform server, running on Windows 10 on my mainframe computer here at home. And um, you'll see I've got uh, four pages here set up on the menu, WordPress editor only, Debbie Builder, Visual Composer, and Beaver Builder. Now each of these pages has this same layout or this is the layout I'm trying to emulate in the three page builders which is basically a, a text column on the left and an, an image on the right okay so let's see how these do and I'm not going to go through on how to create them that's not the point of this exercise. You'll see what the point is here uh, in just a moment. So let's switch over and uh, go to the back end of the site and uh, just uh, to show you that this is all we've got loaded for plugins are the three page builder plugins. I have Beaver Builder plugin Pro uh, which is the same as the standard. It's a commercial version and I thought I would use the pro or standard uh, because these other two are also commercial plugins. In other words, they're not free. You can't get them on the WordPress repository. I could pull off the same demo with a free light version of Beaver Builder, but I thought, well, let me just keep things even in that regard. So these are all commercial plugins or commercial versions of these plugins. And for the pages I've set up, I've set up one with Beaver Builder, Divi, Visual Composer, and then of course if we go to the WordPress editor only, which I have set, you will see we just have some text and an image here. Uh, and it's uh, set to uh, align to the right. Okay. Well, so what do you want to show us is what you're probably asking now. Well, let's go to the plugins. Okay. So let's try Divi Builder. And you'll see that they're all deactivated. And there's a reason for that. And that's what I want to emphasize in this quick video. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Dibby Builder. And you can see it's now active. And I've activated Dibby Builder. 
and it's got a little animation effect and yep there it is that looks pretty close so we'll go back to the back go back to the plugins we'll deactivate that and activate WP uh, Bakery's Visual Composer. Now the reason I'm not having these all activated at the same time is generally not a good idea to do so. So we'll go back and look at the Visual Composer. And other than a little bit of difference in image size, it looks just fine. Go back to the WordPress. Now go back to plugins. We'll deactivate that one. Oh, sorry, clicked the wrong one. Let's go back here to setting. Deactivate that. And we'll activate Beaver Builder. Go to the front. And check the Beaver Builder page. Yep. Not too bad, there's a little bit of a difference here. It's probably just the padding uh, for the column, but looks pretty much the same. So here is the point of this particular video. And I'm gonna deactivate Beaver Builder. So now you'll see that all three plugins have been deactivated. So in other words, they're not active, and what you'll see on the page is what you'll get should you ever decide to move away uh, from that particular plugin, or the developers of the plugin click on the Powerball and move to the Cayman Islands with their $325 million, or whatever the reason. <laughs> Here is what happens. So we have the WordPress only. And that looks fine. Let's see what Divi Builder looks like when it's deactivated. Hmm. What is that, you say? Well, you can see some text here, but it looks like nothing but short codes otherwise. What about Visual Composer? Hmm. Well, we don't even have the, oh, we do have some uh, text in there, but it's hard to see buried in all the short codes. And what about Beaver Builder? Well, look at that. Looks amazingly similar to that other than the location. You see the point of this video now. So, which page builder do you think you'd like to use? And, uh, well, thanks for watching. And that's about it for now.